Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yashallah, Koholo Yamla Yahweh Basham Yahweshai, Bahashim Rekha Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Aki and Nakwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Basham Yahweshai to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And I uh, wanted to touch on this article. You know, this was, uh, if you remember this story, they finally sentenced this woman that left her 16-month-old baby, you know, for 10 days as the bitch went on vacation. <laughs> you know, it's a lock you for the language, but I mean, golly, I mean, you have to just, re I mean, when you really think about it, she I think she's 32 years old. Like, how could she have been on earth this long and being that goddamn stupid? You, you I mean, you have to be really some got to be, I can't even call it, man. I mean, golly, though. A 16 month, yo, this is your daughter. You didn't know nobody that you could have called. You ain't know nobody. I mean, even if a person might have been like, oh, fuck it. No, I, I ain't keeping no babies, girl. I ain't, you know. Even if you had just dropped the baby off at grandma's house like, on the porch and drove away, you'd have been better off or the baby would have been better off than you just leaving the baby in her house by herself. What the fuck do you think that she was going to do for 10 days, a 16-month-old, when she was going to climb out of the playpen, make her something to eat? You know, she know where the pots and pans is at. She going to scramble some eggs and shit. You know, you done left her a refrigerator full of food. She going to make some cereal. You know, uh, uh, throw a couple of steaks or some shit in the up, uh, whatever. Come on, bro. But when I seen her crying, the way that she crying, looking stupid and doofy as hell, because they gave her life. But in reality, they should have put that bitch in this, a solitary confinement for 10 days with no food, no water, no toiletries. And let her sit there for 10 days and see what hunger goes like. She would have lasted. She would have probably fell over and been, un, you know, faint. But she'd have lasted. And then after that, you know, just go ahead and just get rid of her. You know, go ahead and, and, and give her that, that business, man, and make a, a damn example out of her ass. But what you, what does America do? They give her life. So now the citizens got to pay for her to be housed. They got to pay for her to be fed. You know, taxpayers' money got to come out for this slouch. You see? She gets to live with the baby, you know, out of here. But, you know, we do know that this is easy. This is how you know that so-called white people are incapable of running a kingdom and that the Lord has placed this kingdom into, he's placed the world into the basis of men. Real silly, foolish people are running the world, man. Kids, man. Esau, the so-called white man, is like a big ass kid himself, man, where he allows shit like this to go on and, and does nothing about it, really. Because life in prison is really like, eh. No, I make an example out of this lady. You know what I'm saying? People should be able to, Punch in on, 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 you know, should be able to go online. They should have cameras on her. And people should be able to just go online and just, you know, watch her just slowly fade away during those 10 days of being in that solitary confinement cell with no food, no water. Just see how she's going to react after day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, like how the baby did. Day seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, whatever. You know, people should be able to zoom in. Hey, you know what kind of ratings they would get? You know how many people would stop the bullshit if they seen that? And then after that, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and throw her ass on the chair and put some juice to her ass or firing squad. Or or I, I say even the, the, the lethal injection is 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 too humane for this 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 bum, man. Anyway, she's sitting here. She's crying like she don't know what's going on. You know, but what am I, no, let me play. Let me play this one. An Ohio woman has been sentenced to life in prison with no chance of parole after leaving her toddler alone while she went on vacation. A well, 32 year old Crystal Candelario pleaded guilty to aggravated murder and child endangerment last month as part of a plea deal. Well, police say she left her 16 month old daughter alone in a playpen last June while she traveled to Detroit and Puerto Rico for 10 days. When she returned, she found her daughter wasn't breathing and called 911. The child's cause of death. And damn credible, bro. Now, this one I was watching right here. It reminded me of it. Now, this one, she's basically... I'm, assu this, I'm, I'm, assuming yeah. she's, I'm assuming she's Northern Kingdom. She might be Northern Kingdom. You know, but she's, you know, the, her lawyer is interpreting for her and shit like that. 
And she's sitting there crying her goddamn eyes out, talking about how she believes in God and all this other shit, and that the baby and God done forgave her. But you know who she's thinking about? She's thinking about white Jesus, man. You know what I'm saying? But how could you, what kind of mother are you? You don't know the baby's daddy. None of his uncles, none of his aunties, his his mama, you know, his his you know somebody on his side of the family. Even if, even if you hated the guy, you don't know none of his cousins. But let's let's just stop with his side of the family. You don't know nobody on your side of the family that you could have left that baby with. And then at the same time too, somebody in the family had to have known that this bitch crazy. Cause something wrong with her. She she ate. Hey, let's make some. We need to do a welfare check with her every day. Cause something got to be off with her to do something that goddamn silly. She's here in Detroit partying. As a matter of fact, they showed her on the beach taking pictures and shit. She's smiling and shit. She's all in Puerto Rico taking pictures, smiling selfies, Instagram. In the meanwhile, the baby, you know, the baby crying. Snotty ass nose. Diaper filled with, with, with soil. Urine. Can you imagine day two of a baby being alone like that? Day three. And then they're going to get this bitch life and she gets to live. Boy, man, look, man. This place needs judgment. But this is what happens when the so-called white man is in rulership, bro. Well, I'm going to play this one, too. Yeah. Every day I ask forgiveness from God and from my daughter, Jaylene. Soy una persona creyente de Dios. I'm a person who believes in God. Y reconozco hoy que todos y todas mucho. And another thing too, this is how you know this man's kingdom is all. Is that you have all the evidence in the world. You know she done what she done. You know. You got all the evidence. You blowing all this time. Wasting the resources of the taxpayers. And, and she actually got lawyers. Now I get it. That's the American system. But you got to think about the type of people. That will be representing this chick man. I mean come on bro. It would be hard. For me as a lawyer, I would have to, you know, I it just be certain. I just couldn't make no money. I, I, I like, I'm, I, I can't sit here and rep because you know, you, when you doing shit like that, you are actually, you're baiting a criminal. You, you're, you're actually aiding a criminal, man. You know full well they done what they done, and here you go, you, you coming out of the trick bag with all kinds of lies to try and get this motherfucker off, man. But that lets you know the type of uh, place that you're in. See. Doing our, let me, matter of fact, let me see something here. In the ancient days, let me see. When there was something done, you know what I'm saying? There would be an inquisition done. Basically like a, a, a you know, this is where the so-called white people get what they call an investigation. Let me see if I can find it. I think that's how it was worded. Yeah, um, Deuteronomy 19 and 18. This would be like, um... This is a different um, type of case right here because this is going off into falsely accusing a brother or, you know, a false witness or whatever. But this is Deuteronomy 19 and 18. Uh, let me start there. And again, like I said, this is going off into if somebody and this is something that's big in America, too, where somebody can falsely accuse you. They can find out that they lied on you. You going through all this shit. Lawyered up. You trying to prove yourself innocent. In the meanwhile, once they find out that you're innocent, they don't even do nothing to the person that accused you, knowing full well they was lying on you. But this is America, man. This is their this is their their judgment system. You think stuff like this is gonna be happening in the kingdom? Nah, bro. Deuteronomy 19, I'm gonna start at uh let me see, verse. I'm just gonna start at verse 16 for the sake of the context of you know this. But it says, if a false witness rise up against any man. To testify against him that which is wrong. It's like you. Then both the men between whom the controversy is shall stand before the Lord, before the priests and the judges, which shall be in those days. And the judges shall make diligent 
inquisition. So that's the point that I wanted to make. If they made a diligent inquisition or they diligently investigated what really happened and they know what really happened, you know what I'm saying? Then they know that she's guilty as shit. So why are you housing her for the duration of the rest of her life, which she's going to be in there when the missiles hit? And that's one of the last places I would want to be. If I'm going to jail, I, I, I want it to be for this gospel. For standing up for the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. I do not want to be in jail for no shit like uh, nowhere near what the fuck she done for sure. But just to be in jail when the missiles come, that, that, that's going to be an oven in itself. You know, but a lot, you know what? A lot of people going to get judged in those prisons and they go, they ass is going to bake holding on to those bars like Sarah Connor in the damn judgment day. I, I don't want to be there, man. I, that's the last place I would want to be in the last days. Anyway, but they're supposed to, um, you know, make a diligent inquisition. It says, and behold, if the witness be a false witness and hath testified falsely against his brother, then shall ye do unto him as he had thought to have done unto his brother. So shalt thou put away, so shalt thou put evil away from among you. And that's why I wanted to bring this scripture out as well. Because if they were to do to her what she done to that baby, that will put, that will put a lot of evil away from out of America right off the jump. And that shit will hit the internet and go viral all over the world. Did you see this lady? They got her on camera in the solitary confinement. And they're watching her just starve for 10 days. And you know, these people here in America, they'll tell you that's inhumane. They'll stick there. There, there are groups that will stand up and come and fight and march for this lady. If you've done her like that. If you set her ass in a cell and didn't feed her for 10 days. Didn't give her anything to drink for 10 days. There will be people from all over the world coming to that 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 prison and, and marching around the damn streets talking about how inhumane this shit is. But they they they're gonna forget all about what she done to the baby though. And see this this place it roots on. Let me get this real quick. It roots on wickedness, man. This is why this place is gonna be destroyed in such a manner of that fire, man. This is Romans um one and thirty two. It says. Who, knowing the judgment of God, because she said, I, I believe in God, and that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So you got people out here, man, that I'm telling you, they'll come to this lady's defense like you can't do her like that. Even if they were to try and um, um, if there was a death penalty or capital punishment, wherever this shit is, where, wherever she's at, there would be people marching to keep her from dying. But if they seen her go through what she put that baby through, that would purge the evil. Chicks would be even thinking to lessen. They'll be thinking twice about even having damn babies. Here you go. You out here. You know you want to party. You know you want to do what you want to do. And then she probably had the, the man on, on board. Uh, matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if this is the same case, though. The guy. I'm, I, I can't say. But the the, 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 the the baby father, you know, he could have been trying to get custody of his baby all along. He probably been like paying child support, trying to get trying to get rights to seeing his baby and this bitch to do something like this, man. Incredible. Anyway, let's see some more. And just sitting there with that. Look, at, you know. And, and obviously she in there eating good. You know, just in just in prison, just kick back, just eating good. And I'd be surprised if don't nobody fuck her up in there. Muchas ocasiones somos tentados por el enemigo. And I recognize uh, today that of me, all of us uh, are sometimes uh, subject to the enemy. <laughs> yeah. Dios y mi hija me han perdonado. God and my daughter. Have forgiven me. Man. No, nah, because you call him on white Jesus, man. She can repent, though. She can repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. She, 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 if she sincerely repented to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai, she, yeah, she could repent. But you already know, overall, she's calling on white Jesus. So she, she's, she's in double trouble. She's in trouble for the murder of her child, basically. And she's in trouble for calling on a, a, a goddamn idol. That's even just as worse. So she's through. And she's going to be in that, in that prison 
when the missiles come and hit America, man. And that's the last place I would want to be in these last days. My goodness, boy. But um, let me get this real quick. I don't want to um, you know, keep the lesson too long, but that is so cruel, man. But hey, the scripture talks about whoever died being um, um, whoever perished being innocent. So, whatever that baby done in her past life, it was crucial, man, for for that judgment to come back, because that you know, hey, that's another lesson, you know, for those that have ears to hear, um, because there's a such thing as reincarnation in the scriptures. So. Whatever that 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 young lady done, that baby done in her past life, for her to get the type of judgment that she got in this life, she had to have done something really terrible, man. Anyway, let's get this real quick. Uh, verse 3. Lamentations 4 and 3, it says, Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people has become cruel like the ostriches in the wilderness. The tongue of the sucking child cleaveth to the roof of, of his mouth for thirst. The young children ask bread and no man breaketh it unto them. But I mean, the, the point is hey, the, the, the children of, 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 of Israel, man, the women of, of, of our people have become so cruel, man, to the kids. It's, it's, it's retarded, man. Matter of fact, but this is one of the curses, too. That's on our people. Deuteronomy chapter 28. If you were to read through Deuteronomy chapter 28, you'll see that these curses fit the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to a T. And this is on verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter. See? See? That's a very cruel thing to do. Like, like you, you didn't. I mean, who knows? Maybe she didn't have no family at all. But I, I mean, I, you don't know no neighbors. You don't know no. And then you know it's crazy too. Be, uh, you know, I'm not sure where she was living at. Somebody, may, you know, if she was close enough, where somebody heard the baby crying, something. I think it was a house, so it could have been a good chance that no one was hearing her. But that shit is just retarded as hell. You ain't know nobody that you could have left the baby with. You could have dropped the baby off at the police station. You'd have been, I mean, better off. I mean, even though, you know, they probably would have caught up to you, found out who you were, gave your ass some time or whatever. But at least you wouldn't have been getting no life in prison, that's for sure. And the baby would still be alive. You could have dropped the baby off at the damn fire department, fire station. I think they, you know, they have programs like that. I know it's really for newborns and shit, but God damn, boy. Oh, you just leave your, you got to be one wicked. And this is why the apostles tell us, you know, hey, look, brothers, watch where you dropping that seed at, bro. You don't want to come across no idiot like this. Huh? This is a complete goddamn idiot right here. <laughs> but I mean, you know, overall, we do know that it's the Lord that kill and make it the lie. And again, you know, there's a such thing as reincarnation in the scriptures. Because your spirit goes back to the Lord that gave it. Judgment is under the sun. There's no such thing as this um, red guy on the ground with this, this burning lake of fire. And you do bad, you go there and you burn forever. That's not scriptural, man. That's not in the scriptures. The scripture says that, matter of fact, let's get it. I think it's in um, Ecclesiastes. Oh, you know what? I think it's in chapter 12. Is it 12? Let me see, Slokia. Oh, let me see. I mean, they just type it in. I know it's in Ecclesiastes, though. Oh, it was 12 and 7. Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. This is what happens when you die. You know, your, your body, you know, decomposes and turns back to dust. And the spirit shall return unto Yahweh who gave it. This is what happens to everybody that dies, whether they're wicked or righteous. Their spirit goes back to the Lord. But now there's um, judgment under the sun because the scriptures talks about how you, you know, you come back every third to fourth generation. Like I said, that's another lesson. That's meat that could go, you know, above a lot of people's heads. If you're new to this truth, 
But there is a such thing as reincarnation in the scriptures. There's plenty of examples in the Old Testament and the New Testament as well. But let's get this one. Um, Ecclesiastes 3 and 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. So under the sun is the earth. So judgment, when judgment goes out, it's under the earth. It's, it's right here on this planet. There's no such thing as, a, as a, a burning place underground. Your spirit goes back to the Lord that gave it, man. You go before the Lord. You get a judgment. I'm not sure how, 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 you know, how fast the generations are moving right now. But every third to fourth generation, you come back here and you, you receive the, the punishment that the Lord gave you. The Lord put some parents together. They have sex. You, you come back into this world in a spirit, you know, through the spirit in a body. And then, hey, that spirit, she only lasted 16 months. And went right back to the spirit world. Sometimes, hey, they, they, you know, they, they, die, they die in their mother, mother's stomach. But we do know that there's a such thing as regeneration or reincarnation. Um, and you come back and you get your judgment. But that's another lesson. Like I said, I didn't want to go too far off into that. But this shit right here is complete wickedness bro and then when, once they told her, her ass she got life that, that dumb ass look on her face you know what i'm saying now you got this stupid dumb ass look on your face as if you didn't what do you think was gonna happen come on bro it was another story today to, well you know this was in esau 80s edomites are doing this shit to their kids too let me see if i got this one And people out here getting the business right now. Uh, I think I might have been on my other phone. When I, this other, this lady, man, she beat beat her daughter. And she was eight years old. But, man, she, man, when I say she beat the girl unconscious, I mean, you know, just unrecognizable. So it is what it is, man. It's a lot of stuff that's going on out here in the world. You have to be careful. We're living in dangerous times. Be circumspect. Move in the spirit to the best of your ability, man. Don't get caught up out here. And, and it's just best, man. Like I said, brothers, you don't want to come across no chicks like this, man, and be putting no seed in no chicks like this, man. This has just got to be absolutely nuts, man. Got to be crazy. Something, something going on. But I, hey, you, you know what? I think they've done that confidence test. So she can't claim that she's insane. That bitch just wanted to go party. And she done it at the expense of her daughter, like, you know. You could have took the baby with you? Oh, no, that would have gotten away. I mean, golly, bro. I, I, I don't get, like, what was you expecting to happen to the baby? You really thought that you could come back 10 days later and the baby was going to be fine? Then she get there and she act like, you know, everything. I, I, I don't know what's going on. And calls the police as if, you know, she didn't know. Come on, bro. 10 days? That's a long time, man, for a baby. For a baby? You might be, you know, a person that's into practicing fasting. Average person, man, that can, you know, probably fast two, three, four days, something like that. Some brothers can make it five days. You know, if they've been doing that takes practice, man. That takes, um, 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 you know, really being in the spirit and practice for real. But a lot of brothers don't don't take it that far. But basically, this baby is you crying, you know, hung, oh, man. Anyway. But this is the cruelty of our people. And there was another one, too, that's in the book of Job. Let me see that precept that's in Job. Um, I probably should have just put it. Oh, yep. Here we go right here. Job 39 and, and 13. I'm going to start at 13. Gavest thou the goodly wings unto the peacock, or wings and feathers unto the ostrich, which leaveth her eggs in the earth and warmeth, the, warmeth them in dust, and forgetteth that the foot may crush them, or that wild beasts may break them. She is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear, because Yahweh hath deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. Come on, man. You can't be a person of understanding if you're doing silly shit like that. 32 years old? 
I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm just thinking like, how did you make it this far? How did you make it this far? Within nobody, um, um, uh, been delete your ass because you gotta, you 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 gotta be to make some of the dumbest moves in your life to do something like that. I know you. You, how did you make it this far? Anyway, with that, man, I pray that the lesson was edifying, brothers. Like I said again, be aware of who you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? If you're running across these young ladies, hey, you know, Paul said, hey, if you could, if you can, if you could take it, don't even deal with no woman. But if you know you're burning in your lust, you know what I'm saying? Hey, choose wisely, though. No, you need to try your hardest to, you know, pray too. Pray, man. Lean not to thine own understanding, man. Pray to your heart about you, man. I'm sorry you come across any woman overall. <laughs> Straight up, man. Because this right here is somebody that you do not want to come across. This is a, a, the, the most uncaring, useless. <laughs> Like, man, you can't get no more wicked and nasty and evil as this right here, man. Well, I guess you can, but this is this is just one of those one of those cases. Anyway, with that, Kwame Shalom.